in the last economic example of the integrals we learnt about the present value of a cash flow however in this situation we will analyze the present value of a perpetual flow it is different from the last application because in that situation there was a certain time period which was under consideration and we were trying to analyze the present value during that certain span of time however there are situations where the resource that we have is indestructible and uh, that can be a piece of land which is likely to be th there for an undefined period of time and for that situation we have to uh, bring a little change in our formula of present value of the returns let us see how we can do this so in addition to land it, it is also exemplified by interest form of from the perpetual bonds this is also an example and in such situations the formula will change slightly as we already had the hint of it you can see the upper limit is now undefined that is infinity remaining of the formula is the same now it is an example of an improper integral because one of the limits is infinity now we can solve this is something we will see in this uh, video present value of the perpetual income stream flowing at constant rate d dollars per year discounted at r per year is uh, calculated here you can see in the subscript of pi we have written perpetual because it is something that is likely to last for an undefined period of time so this is the formula and we have to now substitute the values and then we have to simplify it here instead of rt we can write d because this is the annual return and once we substitute this value we come to the solution of it as we can see we have uh, lambda uh, we have undefined uh, uh, symbol that is infinity we have to uh, use the limit for solving this and when we uh, you know introduce infinity here we use limit because solving uh, limits is possible with uh, solving infinity is possible by using the limits so uh, limit is approaching till infinity and instead of y in, in uh, we have infinity as its uh, highest possible value which is likely to be achieved but definitely it's not equal this is why we are using the concept of limit now uh, limit is written outside whereas we are doing the integration as per the standard procedure you can uh, consult the last video and you can see this is the same process that we have done there this is simple uh, integration of the given expression further solving it we will get these steps which are already done in the last video however the limit with the um, uh, un, uh, infinity sign it remains outside and it will be used as we go ahead so we are talking about the present value of the perpetual flow and in that we have this limit outside still and the remaining steps are being done here you remember that this was the present value of the cash flow in the last example where the upper time uh, limit was y so here it is y but it is approaching to infinity that is an undefined period of time so instead of y now we are introducing infinity and when we do so the exponent of minus infinity will be 0 and then uh, 1 minus 0 will become 1 and finally we will have d over r as the um, present value of the perpetual flow so we have developed this formula and now we can use a numerical example to verify our results and try to interpret it this is the various components that is d and r on which the value of the uh, perpetual flow depends and if we are given some numerical values of it that is 1450 and uh, discount rate is 5% 
we can substitute these values and we, here we have done the same we have substituted the value of d and r and now we can simplify it to get the final result this is the final result that is 29000 and once we do this we will get the uh, sense of whatever we are trying to do and that is that if we have such a situation where on annual basis we are getting this much of the return due to some resource that is indestructible or is capable of giving us perpetual returns then collecting all the returns for all of that undefined period of time which is the end of which is unknown the overall return that we can suggest uh, as a result of our calculations will be 29,000 which is definitely much more greater than the annual returns that we are getting but we must remember that this uh, process of discounting is eroding its value over time as we are going into the future this 5% is happening on annual basis due to which we have the overall result that is 29,000 so the decision can be taken on the basis of this value whenever an investment is to be done and the annual returns are this much the discount rate is given but we are unaware of the end time for this series of returns that we will get that is that is the return is happening for an undefined period of time these were the simple steps which were similar to the previous example and finally we are now capable of dealing with situations where we can find out the present value of a perpetual flow that is likely to happen for an undefined period of time and this was possible by using the indefinite integrals. Thank you.